started racing quarter midgets at about eight years old. And when I turned 14, my dad and my grandfather got me a modified and I ran about two months in that and then jumped into a super late model and that's where I've been ever since. Being a fourth generation racer, that's all I ever wanted to do. You know, I played a little bit of sports uh, growing up, but at the end of the day, I knew that my ultimate goal was to be like my family and, and race. And, um, you know, they all raced and, and still work full-time jobs and we have our family business back home. And before I started racing super late models, I worked on my dad's race car and went with him every week. Some of the memories that I cherish the most are uh, being that little kid at the racetrack. And I learned everything from him and I, I took all the information in I could and he kind of, he pushed me to be the best person that I could be and it's such a humbling sport and it's, uh, it's difficult in many ways. The competition keeps growing every year. Having a good support system like my dad and my grandpa, that's what does it for me, making them proud, seeing them smile. And, and uh, you know, of course, my wife and kids, they, they do no matter what, but just a lot of people in my corner and I'm very fortunate. Um, no matter what kind of adversity you get thrown, you're gonna do your best you can to overcome it and uh, just make the most out of every opportunity. Yeah, so last year was, well, my, my first year ever having to uh, worry about the crew and just all the little details. And, you know, of course I had my my dad to uh, advise me and then of course Scott Riggs with, uh, you know, my car owner. He's um, been a great partner of mine and and uh, he let me take it under, under my wing and do whatever I needed to do with it. And, uh, you know, he really put his faith in me and that was, uh, that was a huge, uh, huge deal for me because I haven't had to do that in a long time. So, um, like I said, we, we dealt with a lot of adversity with crew and, and motors at the beginning of the year and a little bit of everything. And I think uh, we came out in a, in a really good position. Uh, we, got, we got our stuff together where it needed to be about halfway through the year and really finished the year off strong. Um, so it's really cool to have people that have faith in you to, um, you know, to to put them all in your court for once and to uh, basically trust you with with the whole program. So my wife and daughter and my youngest, they come with me all summer long. And then uh, my oldest gets to come with me whenever he's not playing baseball or football or basketball or whatever sport he's into at the, at the time. And like I said, I'm very fortunate. And uh, we actually, my wife sells my t-shirts for me. So she comes with me a lot. And obviously the kids come with her. So it's, uh, we make it work and it's, like I said, I'm very fortunate. I've just been in a really good position my whole life to where I could take time for my family and uh, really have them be in involved. From my standpoint, it's just having the kids there with me and having my wife there with me and just having them be able to experience the experiences and do things that most young kids don't get to do and travel places that most young kids will never see. It's a really cool deal that Hoosiers put together, um, but you know, for me, when I think about Hoosier, I think about all the, the people and the, the long relationships that I have with some of the people um, in Hoosier. So um, it was really cool and it's an honor for me to, uh, to be able to do this and just hopefully do Hoosier a good job representing and the friendships that I have in Hoosier that I've had for a long time is uh, what, what meant a lot to me was to, to be recognized and, and uh, just have the opportunity to hopefully do some good for them. My name is Brandon Shepard and I'm a Hoosier hero.